I'm Professor Lorenzo Ressel and I'm leading the Dymo Lab. Dymo Lab stands for Digital Morphology Lab and our mission is to apply digital technologies to morphology of organ and tissues for teaching and research. A way of applying digital technologies to organs is to recreate a digital copy of them. This goes through a process that is called photogrammetry and photogrammetry through the use of multiple pictures taken in different, from different angles and with different light conditions on the organs allow us to have a lifelike copy of the organ itself. This organ can be used in different environments, they can be uh, implemented in virtual worlds or they can be seen on a screen or they can be linked to QR codes in a way that our students can experience those organs in a safe way to study their structures and their modifications when a pathology happens to those organs. Applying digital technologies to very small sections of tissues that are prepared by our histolab allow us to better quantify what happens in those organs when they are part of a pathological process. Then we take things further and analyze those slide scans using various digital approaches including deep learning, which is a subset of artificial intelligence. In this way, the computer is able to recognize and segment multiple classes of interest. We can apply these techniques to a series of consecutive sections and use those segmentations to create 3D models of an organ or of a bit of the organ. Those models can be the start of further processes. One process is 3D printing. So those models that are virtual now, they can become real through the process of 3D printing. And so students can have real models to touch and to study on. We can also use augmented reality, which works through the use of a tablet with a camera. And through the tablet, you can see the organ projected in your own environment. Those models can also be implemented in the metaverse. So we can create virtual rooms and multiple models can be positioned in different areas of those rooms and people can embed themselves into those rooms with the use of virtual visors and they can walk through and interact with objects and have a better study experience.